What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another batch of comment shoutouts. So if you're new to these comment shoutouts, I look at some of my past videos and look at some of the comments that have been posted on them and shout them out to you guys as part of a way to share love and interact with people in the YouTube community. It's I love doing these videos and as always thank you for supporting this channel and continually allowing it to grow. I definitely appreciate the feedback and the comments that come in all my videos and I enjoy making these videos to share some love with some of you guys. Anybody that has a YouTube channel that I'm doing comment shout outs to of course I'll leave links in the description below to all their channels. Also, if they have accounts on Letterboxd, I'll leave links to their Letterboxd accounts as well. So let's get started with another batch of comment shoutouts. My first comment I'd like to share comes from Chop Dog Plays, who writes on one of my, I think my last comment shoutout video, Would you shout me out? Been a fan for a while, Jacob. Love your movie reviews. Yes, I'm shouting you out right now, and I appreciate that you're enjoying this channel. Next comment I'd like to share comes from Kent Kentley and he posted his ranking of the Star Wars movies on my Star Wars ranking video. Let's look at that ranking right there. Definitely agree at number 12 with the Clone Wars. Uh, Empire's at number one. That's Holy cow, The Last Jedi is at number two and above A New Hope and Return of the Jedi. That is a bold ranking right there and I still enjoy that movie so more power to you. I love The Last Jedi. We're having Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones over Revenge of the Sith and Force Awakens. But, you know, these movies are all subjective. And so it's cool having your ranking on there. It's completely different than mine. But, you know, I, I, I respect that. I really do. Next comment I'd like to share comes from Filmstocked. Uh, they commented on my review of... The Jungle Book is part of my Celebrating Disney series, of course, the original animated one on my Celebrating Disney. Definitely check out Filmstock. I love their channel. Two guys, Andy and Chris, talking about movies. And Chris has an account on Letterboxd, which I'll leave a link in the description below as well. So in this comment, Chris writes, This has always been one of my favorite Disney animated classics. I just love it. Very nostalgic. Great review. Yeah, like I said in my video, it was one of the movies that stuck with me the longest. I think it was the first, one of the first animated Disney films I remember watching, and it's still a great movie that I highly enjoy watching. It definitely. Uh, is. Next comment I'd like to share comes from Simply Cinema, who commented on my complete Funko Pop collection video. Simply Cinema has a good channel as well. Who he he also talks about movies. I'll share that link in the description below as well, along with his letterbox account. He writes, Awesome collection. I don't have nearly as much as you. I still might make a collection video myself later down the road, but as well as a movie collection. If you're unfamiliar with Simply Cinema's channel, he also has Funko Pops in the background of his videos. And yeah, if you have enough Funko Pops that's enough for a complete collection video, definitely make one sometime. You know I'm going to watch it. I, those are fun videos to watch. Another comment from Simply Cinema I'm going to share, and this is from my uh, 5 Must See Musicals video. He writes, Great list. Haven't seen Music Man and Sound of Music in a while, and haven't seen Sweeney Todd, Little Shop, and La La Land. So I added them to my recommended films on Letterboxd. I'll be trying to get into watching those movies throughout next year, referring to 2020. My favorite musical probably has to be The Greatest Showman, and it's one of my dad's favorites as well. Yeah, I hope you enjoy all those movies you hadn't seen, especially La La Land. It's one of my absolute favorite musicals. I think it's my favorite musical that came out in the last decade. I really like The Greatest Showman, too. It was hard compiling a list of some of my favorite musicals. I do enjoy The Greatest Showman. But I think I prefer all those other movies on my video over The Greatest Showman. But if I did honorable mentions in that video, The Greatest Showman probably would have been one. Next comment I'd like to share is from Eli Taylor Reviews, who commented on my review, first reaction video on Little Women. He has a Letterboxd account as well and a YouTube channel. And I definitely 
leave a link to his channel in the description below. He writes, I really enjoyed this movie. The whole cast is amazing. Great video, man. And I quite agree. And this is from somebody who never read any, who never read the book and hadn't seen any of the other adaptations. And I fell in love with it. Especially the cast. The cast really made the movie for sure. Got another comment from Filmstock who commented on my review, five must see 2019 movies that you may have missed. And I'll share the comment right now. Chris writes, I definitely still need to see The Peanut Butter Falcon. I'll try to check it out soon. Also, I miss Ad Astra and The Farewell, so I've got some catching up to do. Nice video. All three of those movies are really good, and I highly recommend them if you missed them. I think my personal favorite of the three is The Farewell, mainly because of how great the storytelling was and the filmmaking. And it did a beautiful job with its subject matter. And Aquafina's performance was one of my favorite performances of last year. I think she totally got snubbed at the Oscars. I think she probably should have been nominated. I really dug her performance. It is awesome. And I hope you enjoy those movies when you check them out. Another film stock comment. And this is from my top 10 most anticipated films of the new year. Chris writes, Tenet is going to be epic, can't wait. Also, I'm excited to see Spielberg's take of West Side Story. The original is such a classic musical. Nice list. Yeah, West Side Story I think is going to be great. Uh, I do plan on doing a review of the original West Side Story probably before the release of the new one. I know it comes out in December, but I'll probably do a pre-1980 classic review of the original West Side Story sometime. And I can't wait to see Tenet right. as well. Two more comments from Simply Cinema. Uh, the first one is on my 100 Movies Bucket List unboxing video. He writes, that's a nice poster. Might have to find that for myself. Hoping to get into The Godfather soon. Is it your personal favorite? And on the poster, and glad to see Good Will Hunting on the list. One of my personal favorites. Have you watched and reviewed that one yet? But no, Star Wars The Last Jedi? Shame on those people. It has to be on there. Yeah, if you're unaware, The Last Jedi is simply cinema's favorite movie of all time. But I think that poster was made before The Last Jedi came out. But I think it would have been a great choice on the list for the Star Wars fans who truly love that movie. But the original trilogy is on the list, and those are among the best ones. I hope you enjoy The Godfather uh, when you get the chance to check it out. And no, I haven't seen Good Will Hunting yet, but I've heard so many great things about that movie. All my previous favorite movies from every year I've been on live, I said the biggest snub of 1997 for me was Good Will Hunting. I do plan on checking out all the snubs from each year I've been on live. I plan on checking all of them out in 2020. So Good Will Hunting is coming very soon. I don't know when, but it's coming, and I'm hoping it's going to be a really good film. Another comment from Simply Cinema. This is from my top 10 anticipated of 2020. He said, great list, and I just released my video for top 20 most anticipated because I just had to go along with the 2020 number. Yes, I've seen that video, and I enjoyed your ranking. Tenet seems to be the number one on almost everyone's list, but it's no surprise considering Christopher Nolan is directing it. Yes, Tenet is going to be amazing, I hope. I'm excited to see an original story come out from an original director. I think it's going to be spellbinding and mind-bending, and I can't wait to see it. I, I do plan on seeing it on IMAX. IMAX is a treat for me, and I hope... And I know it will deliver because no one embraces that technology. All right, another comment from Filmstock, and this was on my 100 Movies Bucket List unboxing video. It says, I got that poster recently as well as a gift. I'd seen tons of movies already, but there's still a decent amount I've never seen. I'll be trying to catch up on them as the year goes on. Yeah, when I bought the poster, even though I've probably seen about half the movie, since I wanted to embrace the poster on my YouTube video similar to what Milesy Movies does on his channel. Definitely check Milesy's channel out too. His channel is pretty awesome as well as far as movie reviews are concerned. Uh, I definitely wanted to embrace the video on my poster and unveil each movie when I review them, even if I've reviewed some of these movies already on my channel. 
But I'm excited to check a lot of the movies out that I hadn't seen. Right now, a great find that I hadn't seen from that poster was The Deer Hunter. I thought that was a really good movie, and I deeply respect that film. And also, I almost forgot to mention, since I, I read Simply Cinema's comment earlier, he talking about he's interested in picking up the poster. I found it at a local bookstore. But I know you can buy the posters on Amazon. If you don't want the hassle of trying to find the poster at a local bookstore or whatever, I think the best place to find it probably will be on Amazon. I, just, I was just lucky and found the poster when I wasn't really looking for it. And I'm like, oh, I know this poster. I've seen it on Milesy's channel. And yeah, I would definitely pick that up. That's a neat little poster. And I've, I've definitely been enjoying the poster so far. I've seen some pr pretty good movies on it so far. Then the last comment I'd like to share in this edition of Common Shoutouts is from Anthony A. Perez, one of my favorite YouTubers. I definitely enjoy the feedback that he brings to my channel. I definitely enjoy the videos on his channel as well, especially love his Star Wars content. We're both big Star Wars fans and I definitely enjoy his perspectives on Star Wars. Uh, the comment I'd like to share today is actually on one of my previous Celebrating Disney videos uh, on my review of Mary Poppins Returns. He writes, I enjoyed Emily Blunt and Lin-Manuel Miranda in this film. I didn't hate this film, but I wasn't in love with it. There's a lot of elements I enjoyed, but I found the songs to be just okay, and I wasn't gripped by the story. Yeah, I can kind of see where you're coming from from there. I know there were people that were disappointed in the story of Mary Poppins Returns. I know some thought it was simply it rehashed a lot of elements of the first, didn't really find it as original. And I can kind of see where they're coming from. I think there's some aspects of the story I didn't care for as much as the first, especially when they added like actual villains in the film, and that was probably the weakest aspect of the film for me. But for me, the magic was still there, especially the long gap between the two movies. I thought the cast was awesome. I was a little underwhelmed by the songs when I first saw it in theaters, but when I rewatched it recently for Celebrating Disney, the songs really clicked with me more, even though I prefer the songs in the original Mary Poppins. But there's still some fantastic songs in Mary Poppins Returns. And it's definitely one, I think the more I think about Mary Poppins Returns, even though I have some issues with the film, the more and more I really enjoy it. It's definitely one of those movies for me. And that wraps up this edition of Comment Shoutouts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for all of the YouTubers who shared their comments and were shouted out in this week's video. Uh, if you'd like your comments to be shared in future Comment Shoutout videos, all you gotta do is share share your thoughts on any of my videos and as long as they're respectful i'll share them in future comment shout out videos it's as simple as that if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos if this is your first video besides comment shout outs i also do movie reviews tv reviews trailer reactions and other fun stuff along the way i have some more videos planned for you soon Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!